Okay, so I'm doing my 30 weeks pregnancy um, vlog because I want to start documenting more. I really haven't been doing a very good job at it. Um, no. So anyway, I'm 30 weeks. I'm in my third trimester. I've been in my third trimester for a minute. But um, yeah, I have 10 weeks left. I, ha it's, I have 70 days <laughs> as my countdown. I kind of keep calculating my... my uh, little countdowns in different ways like how many days months you know <laughs> so when people ask me how so how far along are you again I almost forget how far along I am because I'm so focused on how much I have left that my progress is a secondary number now so I'm like well I have 10 weeks left <laughs> you know or two months or whatever so this has been kind of funny um I actually realized when I went to my midwife appointment my um I had been measuring two centimeters, so two weeks ahead, the entire time since I had been going to La Monica, my midwife, um, every single time she was measuring me at two weeks ahead, so it's kind of interesting because this last time at my 29th week, I measured at 29, so I was right on schedule, so um, I think, you know, he'd been growing quickly, and then um, maybe he took a little break, but... Um, I don't know. I feel like I keep getting bigger. <laughs> um, but I start realizing my belly is, you know, it's pretty big. Oh my gosh, he's rolling around. Oh. <laughs> okay, you good? Alright. feel like I've been getting bigger, but I also feel like I've been... I'm like, I could see getting bigger than from here. Like, um, I'll just show you. Um, I don't know. I feel like that could definitely get bigger. Um, you know. But, um, apparently he's gonna get, like, so if he's three, I think he's like three pounds right now, or something. <laughs> I forget now, I'm sorry. A lot of people have been saying, um, wow, you're big, and things like that, which is really cool. <laughs> I can't believe the things people are okay with saying to pregnant ladies. <laughs> it's surprising. Um, I just had my baby shower on Saturday this weekend, and um, my mom, the one that my mom put together, I have two more showers. She so she did hers for it was June eighth, and I have one in uh, on June twenty second. That is hosted by Holly and Ashley, mostly Holly, um, and so they're doing a similar theme. My mom did, um, like, blue, like, light blue teal or something in red. That was her color she chose, and then it was sailor, sailor kind of beach theme -y. <laughs> and then my, um, friend Holly, she, this is, like, more of the church one, um, so my mom's was her friends and, like, family friends that are close to us and stuff. Holly's hosting the one that's um, a lot of church friends and um, girlfriends and stuff um, on the 22nd, and it's going to be sailor theme. And then my sister-in-law and my mom, mother-in-law, mom-in-law, mom <laughs> um, they're doing a pirate theme one um, <laughs> on J July 27th. <laughs> Whoosh, way further, closer to the due date. Um you know, not even a month before. Although, my mother-in-law thinks I'm going to have him on the 27th of, of August. She's like, you might as well add two weeks to that, <laughs> to that due date. Because you're going to be two, week, two weeks late. And um, But I did take, um, t wrote down their bets on when they think he would be due, just because I thought it was pretty funny. Um, his due date is August 20th, and everyone seems to think that he'll be born on the 27th or something. Colby, my niece, um, Kristen's daughter's birthday is the 23rd. I have a few more people I know are on the 23rd and 24th. And someone else is on the 18th or something. So his due date is right in between people's birthdays. But everyone seemed to think he'll be a week or more late. I think he'll be early. Because I think that, especially when I was measuring two weeks ahead, I felt that um, he that, you know, he was like two weeks ahead. <laughs> so I was calculating that, but then I would also calculate in that he would be born on the 17th because that was 
I would thought two weeks ahead, okay, I'm gonna be late from that time. So anyway, I came up with the 17th, laboring the 16th, delivered on the 17th. <laughs> um, wishful thinking, I know, but I still have this weird feeling, I don't know, that I'm just prepared because I've been having Braxton Hicks since 16 weeks or something. I mean, lots of them. And he moves so much. He grows fast. I don't know. For some reason, I don't feel like the progression has been slow. It seems like it's been pretty quick and fast paced. So I think that he will. <laughs> Something that was interesting is um, I've been like, I Google all the time um, pregnancy related things, you know, like, is this normal? You know, um, one of them is I just typed in like, my baby keeps um, moving down towards my pelvic bone. And there was this whole long like blog list of all the people who have dealt with that and they're like, it feels like he's using my ham my my pelvic bone as a hammock and he's just all the way down there. It feels like I'm getting kicked in the crotch and stuff. And it's so funny because that's exactly how I've been describing it to Justin. I'm like I am like I started like squirming because I'm like, it is no joke. He's like right there punching at my cervix. I'm not joking. And that's what a lot of the women in the blog thing described or the forum, I don't know. And um and I had Justin feel like towards my pelvic bone, you know, that um there that flesh there. I had him feel for a second, I'm like, Phil, he's gonna kick, watch. And he kicked and Justin's like, Wow, that is low. I'm like, he's like right at the entrance. That's why I think in my mind I'm like, you know, when by the time he's big enough to come out and we're all ready, I feel like he might come out quick because he's right there at the entrance. It's like this close. <laughs> Um, although I'm sure that wouldn't be anyway, whatever. So, um, yeah, he moves a whole lot and, um, but yeah, I've also been, I've also been blogging or Googling, um, the symptom of like my arms fall asleep. It's just no joke. All day, all night I deal with having numb arms. Like even right now, this arm is not quite awake. It's, it feels kind of like it's coming back alive, but it never ever fully gets back to like to where it feels normal again. So that's been frustrating actually because I was sitting on the recliner and my arm falls asleep. So I get up and I'm walking around and nothing happens. It's not like the blood flow was stopping. I'm just like, am I sitting wrong? So I've, I've YouTubed that too, how to do some stretches and there's some certain stretches where you pull your arm and you put your head neck back and you try and get the blood flow there. Um, and that was to help prevent as well. And it doesn't seem to be working. It's been, you know, quite a while. And um, I've been doing it as often as possible, that stretch. And it doesn't help. But I'm going to keep doing it because obviously stretching isn't going to be bad. And maybe I can help with the tendons because I'm really actually nervous that I'm going to get carpal tunnel. And I already have wrist issues on this side. Um, it seems to be actually, though, that my right arm falls asleep a lot more than my left um, but they both fall asleep, so, um, yeah, so, uh, I sleep on the couch, I start in bed, this is my routine, I start in my bed, and I have tons of pillows around me, and then <laughs> I fall asleep, probably from, like, 11 o'clock, maybe, 10.30 sometimes, until 1, and I'll get up and go to the bathroom and get back in bed here, if, unless my arms are, are falling asleep, but this is, nor this is more normal, okay, so one o'clock, go to the bathroom, come back to bed, fall asleep again, and I literally, it's clockwork. I get up at 3 a.m., 3.15 a.m., 2.56 a.m., 3 o'clock a.m. every night. And my arms are sleeping, and I have to get up. It's this order, it's this urge. It's almost like if I wake up, I go, gotta get out of bed. It's not even like, wake up, oh, better go back to sleep. It's just a weird feeling. And I'm like, I've been telling people, like, how are, the, you know, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. My body's preparing me to, for a newborn because I can't seem to sleep for longer than two hours at a time. And then I'll get up and I'm up for an hour. And I get up. It's not that I wake up. I get out of bed. Um, and I still have the restless leg syndrome thing. But that's usually, like, before bed. It doesn't really happen too much after I've fallen asleep for a couple hours. It's, like, just during trying to go to sleep time, which is always... A struggle even when I'm not pregnant I feel like trying to get myself to go to sleep um, is a struggle because I have to have everything perfect I have to have my phone next to me I have to have you know sometimes I have to have water there to make sure I've gone to the bathroom wash my face brush my teeth 
my blankets need to be in the right spot, I need to have the right pillows with me, my, the light needs to be off everywhere, the door needs to be closed, everything needs to be perfect for me to be able to fall asleep. If, if one of those things are off, if I forgot to brush my teeth, if I don't have my phone next to me, my door's open, one of those things, it's just, I can't do it, I have to, I have to fix it. <sighs> yeah, so, I, so my routine, sorry. I get up at three, I get out and I go into the living room and then um, I usually walk around a while, <laughs> try and shake my arm off uh, to make it wake, wake wake up and doing stretches and stuff and I and I kind of like stretch back to open up my chest because I, I feel like, you know, pregnancy is making me slouch more and um, I don't want to compress my, my lungs like that. You know, I'll wake up and I'll take a deep breath and I can feel my lungs stretching out. It's a feeling. It's really weird. Um, yeah, and then I'll go to sleep either on the recliner or in the nook area of the, the couch, sitting pretty much completely up. So we have, you know, pillows and, and blankets out there ready for me to go because more than likely I'm not going to stay in bed all night. 